was a guy said they were going to be installing Windows 1.01 and 86 box. Now, if you guys didn't know, 86 box is an emulator. So, you emulate old PCs from 8088s all the way up to some late Celerons. So, first of all, what we're going to have to do is download 86 box, and the link will be in the description. Then we're gonna have to download the 86 box manager and configure it. The link will be in the description. Mr. Funny Last made a great tutorial about installing and configuring 86 box in the 86 box manager, so his, so his video will be in the description. So first of all, we're gonna have to go into the 86 box manager, click add. Then we're gonna name our virtual machine Windows 1.01. Or you can name it whatever you want, I guess. Uh, click add. Click OK. Well, check configure this virtual machine now. Anyways, so now we should go into here. Set your machine as an IBM XT from 1986. Go to display, pick EGA, go to input devices, check Microsoft serial mouse, go to other, other peripherals, beside HD controller should be a drop down menu, set this as IBM PC fixed disk adapter. Now go to hard disks, we're going to create a new hard disk, this is going to be, scroll all the way up, this is going to be a 20 megabyte hard disk, with CHS being 600, 614, 4 and 17. I think there's an MFM slash RLL channel zero zero. Oh, oh yeah. So we're gonna have to create a. We're actually gonna have to create the hard disk. So I'm just gonna name. Um, just put this wherever you want. Click OK. Click OK. Um, and then yeah. Same changes. So the first of all, we're gonna have to start it up, obviously. Um, pick any of the hard. Pick one of the floppy disks. Now, now find your MS DOS 3.30 discs. Wait, no. Yeah, find your Microsoft MS DOS uh, 3.30 discs. Now, uh, go into disc one. It's gonna detect the RAM here, just to like actually figure out if your PC is actually configured. We put six hundred. We put 640 kilobytes of RAM into here, so gonna take like 30 seconds max now should boot into MS DOS 3.30 unless if this was the wrong type of disk which I hope it wasn't be very sad uh, found a quarter yeah okay there we go so set the date because 8088 don't have real-time clocks so I'm gonna set this as 9 3 2020 Okay, there you go. Now it says, I'm gonna say it, Microsoft MS DOS version 3.30. Now, do f, f, f disk, like so. Click enter. Now it's gonna boot into the F disk menu. Click enter. 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 And now I'll press any key. Now it's gonna reboot. And now we're gonna have a fisk, fixed hard disk. Um. But we're not done with we're not done here yet. So first of all, yeah, it's gonna beep because because it does that. Um. Okay. Now click enter twice. Now do format c colon slash s spaces. Click enter. Now what slash s is gonna do is it it's gonna copy the command.com from the boot disk onto the C drive. Press Y, click enter. That's gonna format. It's gonna detect the hard disk itself. Okay, so it's now done. It says format complete system transferred. Um, now, what we're going to do is we are going to go into here, existing image, we're going to go to wherever you have your Windows 1.01 disk, and then, yep, open, now setup, put in the setup disk, now type setup if you're already in your A drive, if you're not, type A colon, click enter. Now type setup. Now it's gonna go into the setup. Um, press C. Press H. Click enter. 
for a C. Um, press two, click enter. Press six, click enter. Now it's copying files from the, from the Windows directory. And it's copying files from the setup disk to the Windows directory. Dots on the hard disk and the floppy disk. That means it's just like reading and writing stuff from those disks. So, if you don't know how to get your mouse out of there, press the middle click button. Now, now click on the little floppy icon. Click existing image, and then get, go to disk two. Press C. Now, once it goes to this screen, put your mouse out of like, out of VM. Click the full floppy icon. Click existing image. Double click disk three utility.img. Click C. That's gonna copy even more files because that's just what it does. Because to actually work, the OS needs to copy files. Uh, press N and then put in the desktop applications disk which is disk number 4 click C now put in the Microsoft write disk which is disk number 5 click C Gonna copy files. Okay, now we're gonna need to. Now we're gonna need to put our uh, MS DOS 3.0 disk. Put back in. Yeah, we're gonna need to put our MS DOS 3.30 disk back in. So, this one at IMG. Click enter. And now, type the word win and click enter. Now it's going to go to the boot screen Microsoft Windows version 1.01. And once it goes to the desktop, you're done. Now, I do get full mouse support, we do get full color. There you go, the MS DOS executive. So yeah, that is Windows 1.01 in 86 box. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.